Korak, do you know for everything that DeepSeek has achieved, it's nothing but a side project from the company. What? A side project? Yep, as shocking as it sounds. That's true. Look, it's been two years since ChatGPT was released, and for the first time, an AI model has emerged that has not only created shockwaves across the industry, but has also offered OpenAI a very strong competition. And there's so much news and noise at everything that DeepSeek is doing, what it isn't, the effects it's having on the market, and now it's difficult to catch up. I'm going to help you cut through the noise and here are 10 things that you need to know about DeepSeek's latest model, the R1. Number one, DeepSeek's R1 surpasses OpenAI's O1 model on multiple benchmarks. And not just that, it's over 95% cheaper for developers to deploy DeepSeek R1. And of course, it's open source. It's built upon the MIT standard license, which means that you can use it for commercial purposes for free. Number two, DeepSeek's official app has overtaken the ChatGPT app on the official top charts for iPhone's App Store. Number three, this is perhaps the greatest effect DeepSeek has had. NVIDIA lost over a $500 billion in their market cap over the last few days. And this is the greatest single day wipeout from any company's market cap in US market history. It's quite funny because only a few days ago, did companies like Oracle, SoftBank and OpenAI announce a $500 billion project's target. And look at this, in the last 12 to 24 hours, $589 billion were just wiped down. Number four, if you thought DeepSeek isn't using NVIDIA and that's why the market cap was wiped out, you're wrong. DeepSeek most probably uses NVIDIA GPUs to train and deploy their models. And it's not me who's saying it. In one of the previous models that DeepSeek announced, the DeepSeek V3, they publicly disclosed that they're using over 2,000 NVIDIA GPUs to train the model. While DeepSeek hasn't publicly announced what sort of GPUs they're using to train the R1 model, a lot of people suspect they're using NVIDIA itself. Scale AI CEO Alexander Wang told that, you know, they're most probably using 50,000 of NVIDIA's H100 GPUs, although it's not confirmed or an official statement by any means. But there's still some reason why, you know, NVIDIA's market cap was wiped out. Because in DeepSeek V3, the company only used 2,000 NVIDIA H800 GPUs to train the model. Andre Karpathy, a former OpenAI researcher, said that to achieve DeepSeek V3's capabilities, the company would most probably have to use 16,000 GPUs of the same nature. This means that most of DeepSeek's innovations comes from the architecture side. If you're an engineer who's looking to explore what DeepSeek is doing, we'll link all the research papers in the description below. You can surely check that out. Number five, this is probably most surprising for any of us, right? Because DeepSeek is apparently nothing but a side project for the parent company, High Flyer Capital. So High Flyer Capital is a Chinese hedge fund company that mostly uses AI and GPUs for quantitative analysis. And it's reportedly said that the company is only using leftover GPU power to train DeepSeek AI model. It's quite shocking that a Chinese company's side project is overtaking one of America's biggest AI projects, OpenAI. Number six. Look, you might be wondering that America must hate DeepSeek for what they're doing, right? After all, you know, US doesn't want China to beat them in their own game. But that's not true. Donald Trump came out and said that, look, this should serve as a wake up call for all of us. And it's also probably a good example that a very powerful AI model can be built with using as less resources as possible. Even Sam Altman came out and praised DeepSeek and he said that, look, you know, it obviously motivates us. And he also said that AGI is on its way. So I'm sure that would have added some sort of a pressure on Sam Altman. But Jan Lekun, Meta's chief AI scientist, had an interesting point of view. He said that this is probably wrong to term it as a race between China and US in AI. He said that there should be a race between closed source models and open source models. DeepSeek being an open source model has yet again proved that Building a model open source, describing all of its techniques in the public is probably a better thing to do than building proprietary models. Number seven, there's also a lot of conversation if USA's restrictions towards China has eventually backfired. Look, here's the thing. USA has blocked a lot of import of NVIDIA GPUs, right? So when DeepSeek V3 built their model, they used over 2000 NVIDIA H800 GPUs. Now I'll tell you what H800 is. H800 GPUs are a toned down version of the H100 GPUs which sort of bypasses, uh, you know, the US regulations towards China. It sort of exploits a few loopholes and NVIDIA built a GPU that could be legally exported to China. And this is the, you know, sort of GPUs that DeepSeek has officially announced that they have access to. A lot of people are saying that US restrictions has backfired in the most counterproductive way. And this has sort of motivated Chinese researchers to say that, look, you know, we don't have the support of NVIDIA. We have as less resources to work with and 
you know it's always said that constraint is what brings the best out of a human being so because there was a lot of constraint because there was a lot of restrictions and the lack of availability to powerful tech they decided that they'll innovate on architecture levels they'll innovate on the software they'll innovate on the model architecture to bring out a very powerful ai model number 8 this is not to say everything is good with deep seek right obviously it's flawed and the biggest factor that all of us need to consider is that it's heavily biased towards china you ask the model any controversial question pertaining to china it is not going to answer forget asking questions about china i asked deep seek what is arunachal pradesh right a state that's been in conflict between india and china and the model said sorry that's beyond my current capabilities number 9 another problem that deep seek encountered is that it faced a large scale cyber attack to a point where the company decided to stop uh, onboarding new users onto their app the company said that they're only going to onboard users with a valid chinese number and this is quite scary right because yes deep seek is an open source model but not everybody has the capability to download the model and use it locally a lot of us are going to use apps and there's also a concern that if you're feeding the chinese government with your data if you're using the deep seek app but again it's too early to confirm any of that so yep yes we got to be very number 10 last but definitely not the least janus pro which apparently is better than open ai's dali 3 and that's crazy right it's not like they're stopping with large language models they also want to enter the dali territory in generating images and this is quite interesting what deep seek is doing it's almost like you know they ate everything and they're not leaving any crumbs they're not just focusing on large language models they also wanted to get into image generation territory and it's going to be very interesting if they're also going to step into video generation as well so sora and google vo you guys better watch out who there was a lot of things to say so i hope this helps you guys cut through the noise and understand everything that deep seek is doing so follow aim for more such videos where we help you understand ai the way it's meant to be thank you